Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to the Mr. Storm channel. And today and tomorrow we have ourselves a massive storm heading up the east coast. Um, it's gonna, the big story is how much rain is it gonna bring? Uh, this is gonna be a monster storm. It's gonna bring lots and lots of flooding. We've already got reports uh, in um, areas by um, Kentucky where they've picked up more than eight inches of rain already. And I really uh, want to give you guys an update on what the storm is going to be bringing. So we're looking here at the GFS model. This is not right now. Um, don't worry. This is... 8 p.m. tonight so you can see that it's just reaching the coast um but you can see that a uh, little batch of yellow and orange that's more than four inches of rain so upstate new york close to albany um watch out guys because that's right around eight o'clock tonight that's gonna that's you guys are getting more than I would say definitely more than two and a half inches of rain because the storm is going to be very very slow moving um so yeah um so the dark green is like two I would say two two and a half inches of rain but once you get into the dark dark green or the yellow or orange that's like three three and a half plus inches of rain for like one hour so we'll move on to the next time frame of the storm and so this is here 2 a.m uh september so september 6 which would be tomorrow obviously um so you can see the storm kind of uh losing energy but it's still bringing lots and lots of rain this is so this storm has moved overnight and you can see it's so big and slow moving that even in like one day it's it still is in basically the same spot so it's still uh on the coast it's not there it's not like covering the coast yet but it's definitely at the coast but this is in the middle of the night um tonight and you can see there's still there's no more orange thank god because that that orange just means lots and lots and lots of rain four plus inches but you still have this yellow uh connecticut massachusetts um even uh new york um getting close to long island so uh that that means like i would say probably you'd probably if, if this would happen then you'd probably get around four inches in one hour so yeah it's gonna be really really tough but that's a lot of rain, four inches. That is major, major flooding. Uh, aerial flood advisories have been posted out already by the National Weather Service, but I would say by, I don't know, maybe 6 p.m. Uh, tonight, this evening, uh, I would say flood warnings and watches will be handed out to the East Coast because the storm is just so massive. Um, but yeah, this is in the middle of the night, got lots of rain, and we'll head to the next time frame. So, hasn't changed. It's basically the same thing, uh, it's just, this, this is, the this is where, this is the hour where it's, like, incredible. This is at 8 a.m., so when most of you would wake up tomorrow this orange and yellow that you see there that is 
five plus inches of rain. That is an incredible amount of rain. That is major, major flooding. This is life-threatening flooding if this goes on. It's so slow moving that it just stays where it is, and um, you can see why I, I could I can say major flooding for sure and four plus inches of rain because in the middle of the night it was exactly where it is and it's still there and it got stronger by what not even really moving. This is lots and lots of rain, so. If you guys, this storm is so big, I would say if you guys, if the National Weather Service gives you guys a uh, flood warning, then I would say I want you guys to uh, prepare and uh, think about, you know, just making sure you're ready for damage because this is lots and lots of rain, lots of flooding and flooding can lead to deaths. So, remember, turn around, don't drown. Um, just always remember that if you have to drive, but if there is more than, if there is an inch or more, if the roads are covered with water, do not drive. Um, because in some areas, the water can be up to five inches of rain when there's only one inch of rain on most streets. So yeah, the big picture is in the morning. So if you want, you could not go, you, you, you could not go to work. Um, definitely a good idea because uh, you don't want to be caught in the storm, especially if there's major flooding. So yeah, um, but there's good news to when the storm passes because there's a lot of high pressure um, right behind it. So that'll move in and it'll feel really nice outside. It'll be a little cooler. It'll be in the 70s for uh, most of the coast. Um, but if you go more south, you'll get into the 80s and maybe the 90s. Probably not though. But yeah, we just really need to make sure we stay safe during the storm. So we'll go to the next time frame on this. Remember, this is the GFS. Barely moves, gets a little smaller. So we don't have as big of a storm, but look how much rain. I mean, I'm seeing some dark orange, meaning like six, eight inches of rain. Eight inches. Leave it. If it if this storm it doesn't move for like like maybe fifteen hours, I mean this storm could dump more than eight more than ten inches. I mean it's just an incredible amount of rain. Um, so in a day, if the storm is slow moving and can bring like three plus inches of rain in one hour, I would say in a day. Some areas could get 10 inches of rain, possibly a foot of rain in one day. So this storm is incredibly dangerous. Turn around, don't drown. Just remember that. All right, next time frame. Moves a little, definitely got smaller. It's breaking down. Uh, there's less rain in the storm, but still you can see that yellow. That means four or five inches of rain in an hour. So yeah, it's... It's getting smaller, but it's weakening because it's getting smaller and there's less rain um, than there used to be. So this is around uh, 8 p.m. Uh, tomorrow night. So um, if the roads, again, if the roads have an inch or more rain, I would not drive anywhere but if you decide to go to work in the morning and you find yourself uh trapped in like a parking lot filled with floodwaters i would say really 
you don't have much options. You you could stay in your car, but if the water get gets high enough where if you open the door, water would come in, then get back in the building and you want to stay there for the night in case it's like major, major, major flooding. Uh, but if it's less than up to your door, you could if drive to the nearest hotel. Um, sorry about that. Uh, I would drive to the nearest hotel um, and ask if you could book a night there because uh, you really don't want to be driving in five plus inches of rain on the ground. It's just not a good option. So just remember, turn around, don't drown. Next time frame, storm's moving away, uh, pretty much off the coast now. So still some lingering showers. This is in the middle of the night, uh, but day after tomorrow. But yeah, some lingering showers. And then after that, still some maybe lingering showers but sunshine comes through so the storm is going to last a very very long time all right we'll go to the european model um i'm gonna work a little quicker because uh i think the gfs is the most reliable so i'm gonna work pretty quickly with this one um i'm just gonna show you how much you know, rain is showing. So this is pretty much right now, uh, very close to the coast. And there's a little area here, upstate New York, Albany. You can see here on the dial, five to six inches of rain. Um, and then the dark green, the dark green is uh, four to five inches of rain. So we'll just play through this. Here's some orange showing up. That is six to 10 inches of rain. That's an incredible amount. And the Euro is actually showing that this storm will continue impacting until about middle of the night in two days. Sorry about that. Whoops. Um, and yeah, it's gone by morning in two days. So most of the models are showing the storm will be sticking around for two days if you live on the coast. So this is going to be a major storm. Uh, I'm not going to talk much about about the other models because these are my i use these for backup models but we'll show the nam and the h triple r um so we'll just run through them um but you can take a look while i run through this one this is a nam by the way i'll stop here because this is pretty much where a storm leaves according to the nam here's the h triple r um i'll zoom in because it's a little smaller um, this is a short, uh, short time, uh, model, so, whoops, sorry, uh, this is a short time model, so it won't, I don't think it'll show the storm until it leaves, but yeah, I'll run through this, um, yeah, it doesn't, but, <sighs> it's a lot of rain, and I'll end the video saying, turn around, don't drown. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.